Some sad news to report to you all today that former Cincinnati mayor and longtime TV host Jerry Springer has died at the age of 79. I want to bring in WCPO 9 News anchor Craig McKee here now. Craig, this is a, I, my phone started going off this morning. I was shocked. It's an entire shock for the it's city. It's a shockwave across the city, across the country, really. Uh, of course, uh, a family spokesperson saying that Springer was diagnosed with cancer literally just a few months ago, and things just quickly deteriorated here this past week for him. You know, for those here in Cincinnati, Springer uh, was really known as the politician and TV anchor, right? For nearly 30 years, though, the nation knew him as the host of the controversial show bearing his name, The Jerry Springer Show. Springer studied political science at Tulane University, received his law degree from Northwestern University, and he moved to Cincinnati in 1968 to work at a law firm and had worked even with Robert Kennedy's presidential campaign. Ultimately, he would serve on Cincinnati City Council and connected to the people by working even garbage routes and even drove through neighborhoods, some of you may remember this, in a borrowed camper to listen to residents' concerns. He said he did it to bring City Hall to those who can't get there in person. And ultimately, his Cincinnati political career was marred, as many know, by a scandal when he paid prostitutes for sex with checks. Now, in a statement, though, Jean Galvin, a lifelong friend and spokesperson for the Springer family, said, quote, Jerry's ability to connect with people was at the heart of his success in everything he tried, whether that was politics, broadcasting, or just joking with people on the street who wanted a photo or a word. He's irreplaceable and his loss hurts immensely, but memories of his intellect, heart and humor will live on. And Tanya, you know, reaction is pouring in from all over the country. I know you had some personal connections with him as well. I, you know, I just got off the phone not that long ago with his former co-anchor, Norma Rashid. We talked for a long time. She was sobbing on the phone to me. But what I remember about Jerry, um, I, I was an intern at Channel 5. He wrote me a recommendation letter to get into college. And every day during my internship, he would have like a 10 minute window mm. where he sat with me and kind of advised me on how to proceed with my career. Right. He'd put his feet up on his desk. He'd be smoking a big cigar. Can you imagine inside <laughs> it, in, right. in his office? And I would sit at his desk and uh, at the foot of his desk and listen and take notes. And he was generous with his time with me and with his expertise. He, he was so intelligent and so funny and really, really nice. And he didn't have to take out those moments, no. but he did. And that, and that's the character that he carried it through life. And we're getting some of that reaction yeah. today. And, and that's one thing that's always interesting when someone does pass and they leave us, we start hearing some of those behind the scenes stories that a lot of people didn't know about. Okay, so after work, we would all get off the air, they okay. off the air at 1130 sure. and we would all go out. You know, maybe not every night, but we would go out some nights and we would have fun. And he would treat the entire staff every night, whether it was the cover charge to get in, whatever cocktails they may have had. We would all meet like at the Blind Lemon um, up in Mount Adams or something. And he paid for everyone always, all the time. He used to have me go wash his car and give me money to go wash his car. Here's, here's his the, car was this. so nice. I was terrified <laughs> to drive his car. It was a Bentley. And um, but it, yeah. just a... You know, really, honestly, it's so intelligent. He would write all of his, his commentaries and very thoughtful and politically very liberal, but was so willing to listen to the other side all the time. I miss that. I and miss I know that. recent weeks he was here in town yes, and he he, he's continued to be active. He had his podcast. Many people listening to that, of course, uh, he stayed connected with this community. Yeah, he did. So I was just texting him. I don't know, a week or two ago about he was in town. I wasn't here. He came in town for a Maddie's House fundraiser right. in honor of Simon Lease, former sheriff of right. Cincinnati. Part of, of the Campbell roast County. that they did for that. Yeah. And Simon Lease was the one who was persecuting him, trying to prosecute him for those checks that were written. Right. And um, and we're going to talk to Cy Lease today. We're going to talk to Charlie Lucan. I'm going to talk to Norma. We, we're going to have so much for this uh, to, to keep remembering Jerry Springer because he is worth remembering. He really is. Uh, and you can share your thoughts, of course, on uh, Jerry Springer on our Facebook page. We have a post there. Please, if you have any personal stories you'd like to share or interactions with him, you know, post on there. Perhaps we can get them on the air as well. Yeah, maybe so. All right, thanks, Craig. So we are getting reaction, as he said, from so many people who knew Jerry. They knew of him and they, they just loved him and the impact that he had on our community. We're going to have that for you on WCPO 9 News starting at and right now we have posted some of our path stories with Jerry Springer, including an interview I did with him back in 2011. I'll have to take a look at it. I don't even remember it.